Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali. Uh, back at you with another quick little video. So in this one, uh, we are going to try to fabricate a set of little splitters here. Now, some of you guys who follow me on Instagram may know that I posted a picture a while back of a cardboard cutout that was actually attached to the front bumper. Um, so I think I'm going to finally cut that today. Now, uh, if it doesn't work out, this video will not even be uh, making it anywhere uh, so if you're seeing this we got something going with it um, so this is the cardboard cutout that I have right now and um, it's just something a little bit simple uh, some of you guys who n have seen the Ultima in the past may know that we had a little bit of a splitter going on here so this is kind of aggressive uh, compared to that but we have a little bit of material left over from those splitters that I made from the Ultima and um, I have a little rotary tool similar to what this guy is using over here um, but what I'm thinking uh, for this is the rotary tool kind of melts it and stuff like that which um, doesn't really uh, work very good as far as cutting goes so I went to Canadian Tire uh, excuse me if I'm not filming my face got this thing off a of clearance I actually had to get them to sell me the uh, display model so this is a jigsaw it has a little blade that goes up and down here I'm gonna try to cut um, these little fins here on the side uh, with the, the jigsaw um, now mainly the reason why I'm doing just two splitters on either side is because I have the leftover material uh, enough to make two of these. Um, if I wanted to make a whole new lip, which I may do in the future, um, you know, going along the whole, uh, like, because this one right here is going to stop somewhere here and go in. I was thinking of maybe making one that goes all the way across, but uh, those whole sheets are going to cost me about um like 180 bucks plus cutting so we're just gonna see if we can fab something simple up for the time being for cheap uh that skills the jigsaw cost me like 25 bucks so um yeah we're gonna take this upstairs get our blade installed see if we can even get anywhere cutting this and uh see if we can make some nice circles man. alrighty so we are in the workshop um well not really we're in my kitchen but uh it doubles as a workshop Oh, we got a little present in the mail the other day, white line bushings, so those will be going in the rear diff pretty soon. Um, but for this, what I went ahead and did, uh, as you can see, I got this big ass sheet. I already cut a few pieces out of it for various things around the house. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've traced out, I don't know if you can see those lines, I've traced out some lines. Um, so that this is where my piece is going to be inside of so then I'll be able to uh, do the exact shape once I get these two pieces cut out of this giant uh, piece of plastic here so I'm just going to go ahead do some uh, some cuts right here to separate these two pieces and then once I get my stencil stencil actually traced out oh man I'm going crazy here with these words uh, once I get my stencil sten <laughs> I'm just going to stop once I get my stencil traced out um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah get this bad boy going okay man. so um, I'm just gonna do this inside um, we're gonna see how it goes um, I'm just gonna vacuum this mess up later but I wanted a nice thing a nice area to cut so let's That's actually working really well and I'm getting a <laughs> super clean cut even though what's left over is melting inside and actually actually fusing the plastic back together but uh, I think if we just stop a little ways um, pull that debris out I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to get some earplugs because this thing's actually really loud. And um, we're just going to continue on, man. Alrighty, so basically the idea is 
now that I got this piece separated from the giant piece, I'm going to trace this out perfectly and that's where the precision is going to have to come in. I'm going to have to get this edge, this round edge and this edge over here uh, perfect in order to make this work. Um, so we're going to go ahead, cut out this other piece, trace it out and uh, start cutting, making some precision do, cuts. Use a little bit of green tape and I'm just going to put this around the outline. Now, I'm not going to tape the cardboard to the plastic. I'm just going to put it uh, where the cardboard would sit. That way when I do use my marker, I have a nice solid line on this tape as opposed to on this black uh, right here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, show you guys that right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And so what I'm left with is um, tape on just about the outside. Um, so now what I'm going to do is um, take a lot of pressure and just put it down here and trace the outline of my template here. Um, now you'll see once I pull up this cardboard, the reason why I put down the tape and that is just because this is really going to make the marker pop out. Like I said earlier, and there you can see we have a perfect line here. Um, so what I'm going to do is do the other side exactly like this. And then we're going to get our jigsaw in here. And very carefully we're going to try to cut out this template. And if we did it correctly, we will have something that looks like um, a side splitter. Alrighty, so on these cuts, I am going to try to be as precise as possible. Now, I do have a couple of sanding options um, in case I do uh, have a mishap, but um, I'm going to try to get it as good as possible on this first run. So, let's see what happens. First cut was pretty successful. Uh, around here I was kind of fighting it. It wanted to kind of start doing this. But like I say, I have a couple options for sanding. Um, this was the inside cut. So now we're going to start doing the outside cut. It's going to need some sanding it looks like either way. But um, I guess we're just going to take it um, one cut at a time here, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm Alrighty, so that first one actually went a lot smoother uh, than I thought it was going to. Um, I stopped a little ways around here and you can see I was kind of a little far on the outside of the edge. Uh, where the hell? Oh, I got stuff all over my feet. Let's check this template out. Actually, it's not, it's not too bad at all. Um, the outside edge around here looks like it could use a little bit of um, 
filing or sanding with a really light grit but I'm pretty happy with the way that this turned out um, I'm gonna leave the tape on here actually just so I can sand down and really get an idea of the edges but what I'm gonna do is um, cut the tape cut my other side and uh, show you guys a bit of the sanding process alrighty so now that everything is uh, cut out here what I'm gonna do is probably start with a disc on a drill see how this pans out just along the inside edges here see if I can clean them up a little bit um, if it's burning the uh, melting the material what I'm probably gonna do is switch up to I don't know a Dremel or even just hand sand um, but we're gonna go try a few methods and I'll get back to you once I figure out alrighty so I found the best method for sanding is uh, this little square I don't know sandpaper thing and 180 grit I use the Dremel on the inside edge here so it's a little rough but for the outside edge I had a little bit of self-restraint and just sanded it by hand um, so I'm gonna go down to the car I got a little bit of two-sided tape we're gonna do a little bit of test fit see ya. alrighty so we're just test fitted out here um, as you can see we got a little bit of two-sided tape showing but uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna kind of V in here uh, towards the middle um, so everything's looking good but it looks like I need to shave a little bit off right here in order to get this back corner to line up so I'm gonna go get a marker mark that out right there but um, all in all I think it's gonna look pretty sweet um, so I'm gonna go get the marker like I say uh, trim these up and um, probably wait I gotta wait till tomorrow because I gotta go get a little bit of paint um, paint these up so they're nice and black and uh, throw these mofos back on the car so um, I'm gonna go grab my marker stop talking and uh, okay so uh, we got everything cut out and sanded it's looking pretty good I had to drill a hole here for a bolt but unfortunately I measured once or measure yeah measured once and then cut um, so you won't be able to see that but still not too happy about it um, but now we are just painting it with some uh, rust-oleum flat black now I was gonna use a primer but they didn't have any more at the store so this is probably gonna give me the same finish now I painted my uh, my winter Ultima bumper with this stuff um, the old lip when it broke I painted with this so I'm pretty confident that it's uh, gonna hold up to what I need it for so we're just gonna let this stuff dry here um, just painting it to give it a nice uh, nice even look and uh, what we're gonna do is wash up the car get it ready so the to pieces install. all uh, cut I got uh, everything painted um, so I have the car jacked up so what I'm gonna do is just get my drill and a couple of stubby screws here and uh, see if I can get this thing mounted here um, see if I can find a way in which it's gonna mount easily Ugh. Alrighty, so this is what it is going to look like. Now the car is jacked up, so it does kind of look like it's uh, tilting backwards a bit, which I think it is just because of the way that it's screwed into the bumper. Um, as you can see from the bottom, those silver screws, I'm going to just have to get uh, some black paint and paint over those. I'm um, not really sure exactly how I feel about it being on such a such a weird angle but I'm gonna put the other one on uh, lower the car now that should give me a better idea how it'll actually look 
Alrighty, so I just got them on. I uh, haven't even lowered the car. Um, so what happened was I figured out why this one was kind of angling up and I took all the screws out and uh, re-screwed it in. So as you can see, kind of a nice little add-on. I made the V's going in here, like I say, just because it would have cost a lot to get it going all the way across. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put this thing down on the ground. I'm seeing a couple areas where I could possibly touch up. So I'm going to go ahead, put it on the ground, get some paint, and uh, do what we got to do. Okay, so this is the finished product. As you guys can see, we now have the addition of some... Uh, kind of unique little side splitters here now there is a, a front bumper that I've seen for the coupe that kind of resembles this with the little lips sticking out there um, not too sure how I feel about it um, like from certain angles I really like it from other angles I just like from this front angle right here I guess you can't really tell that they're there but um, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about these. Uh, like this is just kind of the first version. Now one thing that I did do is drill the holes on this. You can might be able to tell right there. Uh, you can see one of the holes there. So I may take it off and fill it. Maybe fill it up from the bottom there. Um, just for shits and giggles. But um, you know, for what? The 25 bucks that I paid for the little uh, the little cutting tool. Now I actually know how to do this stuff. Uh, so when I decide to make something a little more, um, you know, long term, um, I'll know what I'm doing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Um, if you found it helpful, if you uh, enjoyed it at any point in time, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, if you guys, uh, you know, aren't subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. It is absolutely hot as balls out right now. It's like 30 degrees here in Toronto. Um, expecting a thunderstorm soon though. So I uh, just wanted to get this video recorded and finished just in case that weather comes. So you guys let me know what you think. I'm your boy Don Squally. About to go jump in that lake over there. Oh.